What's up guys, I did a blog post on the Nissan Leafs wireless charging technology that is still not available. I was so intrigued by the car that I came down here to Fontana Nissan to take a look at the Leaf and I want to show you this video of the awesome technology behind it. So let's get started. The Nissan Leaf is a pretty extraordinary vehicle. It's not a hybrid, it is 100% electric. It doesn't have a tailpipe like gas cars which means you won't have to smog it. It is a low maintenance car in the sense that you won't have to worry about any oil changes, timing bell, and normal tune-ups. The onboard computer shows all nearby stations in case you're in an unknown territory. The LEAF is equipped with a 6.6 kilowatt onboard charger and currently there are three ways to charge the LEAF. Included in every LEAF is a 110 volt trickle charger which allows you to plug into any 110 outlet. This method takes about 10 hours to fully charge on a low battery. The second method is a 220 volt home charger which is optional and takes about 4 hours for a full charge. Now the last method is a quick charge port that can give you 80% battery life in less than 20 minutes. The quick charge port uses 440 volts and are becoming more available today. As a matter of fact, by the time you watch this video, a quick charge station will be available at Fontana Nissan. Another way the LEAF regenerates power is by braking. When you apply the brakes, it uses that energy to feed the batteries. This also works when you're coasting or going down a hill. Nissan is confident that battery powered vehicles are here to stay. Therefore, they offer an 8 year 100,000 mile battery warranty. So if you fear this technology might be too new, you have nothing to worry about. I was a bit skeptical about the power on the LEAF, but to my surprise the car has great acceleration and you do get pushed back on your seat. This has to do to the fact that it uses 100% torque when you press on the accelerator. Power is instant and you can definitely feel it. Outside, the car has an interesting design. I think it's a toss-up, you either love it or you don't. But the aesthetics of the Leaf serve more functional use than you might think. Take for example the headlights. They were designed to help funnel air through the side of the car to reduce drag coefficient. The bottom of the car is also covered, similar to high-end race cars. But what really makes this car cool is the technology inside. There are so many neat things that you wouldn't expect the car at this price point to have. Take for example the onboard computer. This isn't just a GPS unit with radio functionality. You are able to program the car to charge at specific times. So say your electricity is cheaper at night. You can have the car automatically start charging, let's say at one o'clock in the morning. You can also set timers for the air conditioning or heating unit to turn on at specific times without using the onboard battery. So say you leave at work at 7 a.m. You can have the car cool or heat before you leave so that when you unplug, the car is at the desired temperature but still at 100% battery. You can set these for every day and different times. But if that wasn't enough, Nissan has a phone app that allows you to control the climate anywhere you are. So say you're at the movies and it's freezing outside. No problem, just load the app, turn on the heater and when you get to your car, it will be nice and cozy. Of course, if it's plugged into the charger at the movies, you won't have to worry about your battery draining. The app also has other great features like notifications that can give you specific information on the car. You can set email notifications when your car is done charging or when it needs to get charged, climate control notifications, and even the status of the vehicle. The onboard computer also supports Google Maps Send to Car. What this means is if you're at work or even at home and you have an address you need to go to, all you need to do is put that address in your browser and you can send that information to the car so it's ready when you get there. Other cool features are the around view monitor. This gives you a front, back, and side view of your car. Very helpful when parking in tight spaces, which also displays a trajectory when backing up. The LEAF also comes standard with an intelligent key as seen in most high-end vehicles. This allows you to open the door without having to physically push a button on a remote as long as the key is inside your pocket or if you have a purse, the car will open. Push to start is also a standard feature. You can also get a LEAF with a Bose audio system which sounds really good and is energy efficient. Heated leather seats front and rear is also a nice upgrade. On the outside, the LEAF is equipped with front LED headlights to use less energy, of course. And the rear spoiler is a solar panel, which charges a 12 volt battery to keep all of the accessories running without depleting your main battery. Overall, the Nissan LEAF is an amazing car at an affordable price point. 
At the time of filming this, you can actually lease a Leaf for $135 a month. I can tell you I spend way more money on gas each month. The only caveat is the limited miles you get per charge. However, if you drive short distances or live in an area that has many charging stations, this can bring in lots of savings and help the planet a bit more. I think we will start to see more electric cars on the road which will help build a better infrastructure for these type of vehicles. It's exciting to see what the future brings. So part of owning a LEAF is that you are eligible for a $7,500 federal tax credit and also $2,500 state rebate. But the best part about it is that you are able to use the carpool lane. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to thank Fontana and Nissan for allowing me to come to their dealership and film the Nissan LEAF. If you guys like these type of videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you give it a thumbs up. I'll leave more information down below on the description. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Adios.